When I say the words Chinese Park, I bet you think of this, this, or this. But you probably didn't think of this. This ain't no slum. We're in the rich people's Potter Town here in Chengdu, China. Welcome to Luhu Ecological City. What exactly is Luhu? Is it a community? Is it a city? Is it a park? Built for residents as well as tourists, Luhu is an upscale urban ecological complex located in the Tianfu Lu district of Chengdu City in western China. One thing I really love about living in China, especially here in the city of Chengdu, is that parks are an integral part of the culture here and the layout of the city. And going to the park is just a part of people's routine lives in a way that it's just not in the states. And because that's the case, in a huge lush city like this one, Chengdu, there are so many gorgeous and different kinds of green spaces to explore. But this is by far the fanciest, the richest park that I've visited in China, if you can call it a park. So the first time I visited this area, the moment I got out of the car, there was nothing around. There were some tall skyscrapers, some cars, and that was it. But then on a whim, I discovered this place, Luke. From what I understand, this is the area for the rich people who don't want to live too far away from the city, but at the same time want to lead a quiet and tranquil life. This place is the dream Florida Island retirement community. Not only is everything here aesthetic and extremely appeasing to the eye, but they've got everything you could ever want or need here. oddest thing to have a place this big and this beautiful pretty much all to myself. I pass by countless restaurants, shops, they're all under construction or all completely empty. Could be due to the influence of COVID. Could also be that Chengdu has been facing a massive drought recently and it is extremely hot outside. But that's just everyone else's loss because I've got my own treehouse. A lot of people still view Chinese cities as this huge industrial chunk of dull colored brick. But Luhu is a much more accurate view of life in China's wealthiest cities. According to the New York Times, China is stressing park planning much more than it has in the past. The country's most recent five-year plan includes the building of 1,000 new large parks by the end of 2025. The typical Chinese city can now match New York in amount of publicly accessible green space per person, but it comes at a price. The China Academy of Urban Planning and Design said that the average cost for each square meter of new park in Beijing is between 3 and 500 renminbi. That works out to an average of $250,000 per acre. Looking around me, I see an oasis, a utopia, the kind of place that one day maybe I could settle down in. But Luhu represents much more than that. As China remains poised to become the world's leading economy in a few years, more and more of these kinds of lavish green spaces are going to be popping up. Luhu is the future of China. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.